Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek and welcome back to Pathfinder Adventures Rise of the Rune Lords. Alright guys, so we are up to the next adventure. This is the Adventure Deck 2, uh, The Skin Saw Murders. And there are five, one, two, three, four, five scenarios. We are on the very first one, Undead Uprising. The vi villain is Kaizarlu Zeren. He's got a bunch of henchmen. Oh, lots of different stuff here. All right. During the scenario, when you defeat the henchman zombie minion from a location deck, it is shuffled into a random open location deck. So it goes somewhere else. But that's not that's not necessarily too terrible because then that means you know that other location has um, an extra henchman that can help close it. So that's not not the worst thing in the world. All right. Each character gains a power feat. That is really good. Um, and then our wrench will gain, gain a card feat. So I think there's not much else to do other than uh, let's get started. And hopefully we can find some weapons to... Oh, wait, here's some story here. It's good to have you back. Sheriff Hemlock has been looking for you. First, let me thank you again for all you've done for Sandpoint. It's fortunate you've proven yourselves so capable because we've a problem I think you can help us with. Uh, put simply, we have a murderer in our midst. One who, I fear, has only begun his work. I'm doing them like William Shatner now. <laughs> Last night, the murderer struck at the sawmill. There were two victims, and they're... They're in pretty gruesome shape. I've got my men stationed there now, but the thing that bothers me isn't the fact that we have two dead bodies inside. It's the fact that this is actually the second set of murderers we've had in the last few days. In a time of shadow, Seren Ray lights the way. I come to you for help in this matter. My men are good, but they are also green. They were barely able to handle themselves with against the goblins, and what we're facing now is an evil far worse than goblins. I need the help, but I'm afraid you need the help too. You see, I'm afraid that this particular murderer knows one of you as well. Since arriving in Sandpoint, I have not taken a path of subtlety, it is true. There was a note pinned to the sleeve of the vi latest victim by a splinter of wood. Ezrin, I do as you command, master, your lordship. What? Me? I, I, I am no one's master. I think this note was left to throw suspicion onto you. I am keeping word of this note quiet for now, but there are a few leads you might look into. You want to investigate the mill. The bodies are still there, and nothing has been done to the crime scene yet. Three con men from the town of Galdoria were found murdered in an abandoned barn south of town a few days ago. Their bodyguard, Graced, survived the assault but has gone insane and was sent to Habe's sanatorium. There was also a seven-pointed star carved in on one victim's chest, but I'm at a loss for what it means. Broderick Quink is an expert on runes. I can find out what he knows about it while you look into the rest. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. <coughs> I'm still getting over a cold. It's taking days. <coughs> <coughs> oh, that sucks. All right, so that was a lot of story. Oh my God, I'm like, I'm choking over here. During this scenario, when the defeat of a zombie henchman, blah, blah, it goes into another location. <coughs> Holy crap, I'm dying over here. Kaisarlu Zeren, he's an arcane of 10, or a combat of 14, so, okay. He's a human necromancer. All damage dealt to by Karl is poison damage. 
Before you act, each character's location must summon and encounter the henchman zombie minion. When you attempt to check to defeat him, uh, after you roll the dice, roll 1d6 on a 1 or 2, start to check over. Cards played on the previous check do not affect the new check. Take the new check's results. So that's, uh, what is it, like a one-third chance? All right. What is that? 33% chance that we have to do the check over again. All right. So basically come at him with lots of resources, but... <clears throat> he doesn't seem too terrible. All right, he also has a henchman called Pidget Turgelson, who's a combat of 12. Before you act, examine the top card of the blessings. This card part of the card is Blessing of the Gods. He becomes a 15. Before you, before after you act, you may banish a weapon with the slashing trait to banish Pidget. Oh, shit. If defeated, you may immediately attempt to... So, we can just banish a, a slashing weapon to just banish him. Wow. Okay, does that count as defeating him, though? I don't know. Well, let's see how it goes. And we got Dr. Habe. No check to defeat him. When Dr. Habe is revealed, replace him with the next Bane in this location. Dr. Habe is shuffled back into the location deck. If there are no Banes in the deck, Dr. Habe is automatically defeated. If defeated, you may immediately attempt to close the location the century came from. You may then examine the top three cards of a location deck. Okay, so what, he runs from us, and then we meet some kind of Bane, and then, whatever, he's easy. Alright, and then, oh, what the hell is this, Grace Sevilla, combat of 12, a human fighter. Oh, that's the other guy that went insane. Grace is immune to the mental trait, if defeated, you may immediately attempt uh, to close the location, so he's not terrible either. <coughs> And then we've got the zombie minis. We've got two of them. Uh, they're combat 11, immune to mental poison. Uh, the difficulty defeat is increased by the scenario's venture deck number, which is 2. So I think they might be 13s. Damage dealt by them is reduced. And then we can close. Okay. So they're not too terrible either. But they might be 13s. Not sure. All right. Let's check out these locations here. <clears throat> Make sure I don't choke again all right so we have the desecrated vote if you defeat a monster with the undead tree at this location roll 1d6 and i wonder monster is undefeated wisdom of divine to close this uh unclose each character's location may recharge an item from her discard pile all right so with four mini monsters here this could be a good place for uh the cleric because she's good against undead Although, no guarantee there's going to be undead there. But Wisdom Divine, she can close that. The Old Light, um, it's Intelligence or Knowledge 6 to close this. So, Wizard could be good there. We have Habe's or Habe's Sanatorium. At the start of your turn, attempt the Wisdom 6 check. If you succeed, draw a card from your discard pile to your hand. If you fail, discard the top card of your deck. That's bad. Succeed at a Wisdom or Perception 7 check to close it. That's not good. None of us like that place. All right, let's see. The village house. When you encounter an item, you recharge a card to automatically acquire it and close it. To close this, banish a card. Uh, we'll think about that. We have the mill here. Add two to your checks that have the slashing trait. Succeed at a dexterity or acrobatics eight check to close it. That could be good for the rogue. And we have the general store. During your exploration, if you encounter anything other than an armor, an item, or a weapon, after exploration, you may explore again if you have a card in your hand. Okay. And then banish a card to close this. So anybody could do that one. Um, and anybody could do the village house. So those are open for anybody. I actually think the, the sanatorium will go with the cleric at some point because she can do the wisdom to close it. Although, uh, so can our rogue. Um, but even if she discards a card, she can heal herself. So that's not too terrible. So we need to figure out where the fighter's going. Um, I guess here he can get allies. There's three allies there. Um, although having the fighter go somewhere with someone else isn't the worst thing either. Maybe, hmm. I'm really thinking of having them go somewhere with somebody. With I think I'll have them actually go over here to the desecrated vault because our cleric, because of my screw up with her deck, she actually has a penalty with half of her weapon. So having the fighter will minimize that. So I think we'll go this way with that. 
So even though he's bad at closing it, she can. All right, sand point at night. That looks cool. And having two players there mean we can try to... What's this? What's happening? The mill is coated with sawdust, strewn with footprints and splashes of blood. A desperate struggle took place here several hours ago. The lingering scent of decay in the air is curious, though. The lingering scent of decay in the air is curious, though. It smells almost as if an animal had died somewhere in the room and its remains were allowed to ripen. The mangled, ruined remains of a woman lie on the mill's lower floor amid heaps of blood-stained firewood. A man's body has been horribly desecrated. The poor man has been affixed to the wall by several hooks normally used to hang machinery. The body is mutilated, the face carved away and lower jaw missing entirely. His bare chest is defaced as well, bearing a strange rune in the shape of a seven-pointed star. Okay, well that sets the tone very creepily. And what do we have here? No weapons, which is no good for me. Um, but there's few fights in here. Alright, let's explore the first card, and of course it's a combat. Um, well, we can avoid him, or... We can just spend a bunch of cards. If I backstab, I can use. I can recharge this. I can. I can discard it. Actually, that gives me. All of this is no good. Hold on a second. This is not good. We didn't draw any weapons. Ah, oh, boy, 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 oh boy, boy. Let's see. Um, if we if we discard this, you discard melee. That would help. God damn it! Only brings it up to fifty percent. And then I would have to also discard this, and it just brings it to sixty-seven percent chance. I don't like that. She doesn't like that. I think we're better off. Just evading him. He gets shuffled in there. And let's spend one of these to go again. Let's let's use this one. Fucking crap. I can do this. Review to evade a bane that has the goblin trait. When you defeat it. Oh, God damn. Oh. Let's keep trying. Potion of Secrets. Something I won't get. Now, why am I spending these cards? Is I want to be able to draw some cards. Um, well, we can't get this. And choose it to. Nah, we don't need that. It lets us succeed as stuff of perception. Right, we're fine. We're fine without that. Alright, at least I got. I got through one card of this deck, and that's good. We're gonna... I'm not gonna use the healing potus and hope we draw... Okay, never mind. Um, over here, we, let's... Before something bad happens, I think I'm gonna do the Staff of Minor Healing. Recharge that. Alright, the fighter is gonna go into the Desecrated Vault. Find the Plague Zombie. He's gonna... I'm gonna hold on to the great club. Um, Shockwave. I'll hold on to that. Let's uh, discard this. 99% chance. Crushes him. We gotta roll a d6. It might be undefeated. It is undefeated. Damn it. Alright, we'll recharge this. Alright. If undefeated, banish the player and each character that the Sokuma succeed or cost or well, that character is dealt 1d4 acid damage. Oh my god. Alright, we'll recharge this to have a better chance. Crap. Sucks. Alright, I'm gonna roll this straight up. And fail it. Farfinugan. Oh god, we are starting off with horrible. 
Horrible. God damn you. That's a fortitude check. But she does go away, right? So, that is bullshit, man. That sucked. That really sucked. Alright. Um, let's do a regular. Ouch. Ouch. Craft diplomacy perception. I am in trouble here. I'm in big ass trouble. 67% chance. I have to go for it. That's as good as it's gonna get. Fuck! Um, I got arcane armor. That may not be reduced shit. Well, we'll discard that and I gotta keep the burglar. I kind of want to keep these detect magics and stuff. All right. No, I'm going to discard lightning touch. We've got other spells. Wish it does. Oh. She examines the top three cards of your deck and this of your deck. Oh, God damn it. Damn you. I hate you. I hate you with a passion. Let's detect magic. To scout. Oh, I did that wrong. I should have all greed first. Let's recharge this. Let's do this. Oh, we know there's a quarter staff there. All right, we're starting off really bad, guys. We're starting off really bad here. Let's auger for what? What do I want? Um, I guess a monster. Put you, yeah, just put them both down there. That's good. I'll recharge this. Let's hope we make it. Let's uh, do this first. Oh, God, we know that. I always forget. All right, 83% chance. Good. Good. Gee. Jeez, man. We're. What a bad start, man. What a bad start. Okay, here. Do I heal him? I don't think I'll do that yet. We need to we need to bash through this deck. Engineer's work gloves. I've never seen this card. Uh review this card to add one die to your craft of knowledge. Check this card to add two to your craft of knowledge. Alright, well yeah, not super super useful. It's okay. It's good for getting other cards, but I can't use this to go again, so Alright. Pass the turn. I still didn't draw any freaking weapons here. Zombie minion. Alright, I gotta kill this. Let's backstab. Recharge or discard? I gotta discard. 62% chance. I will flare burst. 85. What's this? Non combat strength. I think I'm gonna go for the 85% chance. Uh, what's that? What is this? That two two checks to have the slashing trait. What am I? Why is this lit up? I'll click it. Oh, right. He went to another freaking location. But I will uh, continue without using powers. Um. Wait. Continue without using powers. Do I want to use the bird cruncher? Alright, I want to close the location. That was weird. I don't know why it said... Succeed at dexterity. We have a 66% chance. I think we really want to just close this freaking thing. So, uh, let's just make it 95. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I'm having a tough time, guys. 
All right, and I think I want a healing potus now. Ah, no. We'll wait till we have four cards in our discard pile. All right. What the frick is this? Uh, when you defeat a pain, recharge this. All right, I'm gonna recharge it. What's happening? There's no. All right. Oh. I get it now. Let's re let's recharge this flare first. Okay, I, w I was confused for a minute. Hold on. First, we're gonna do a spell book. Sahidra Medallion is not what I. Well, that's okay. All right. We'll roll to. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So I forgot we had defeated a goblin. Um, I'm not gonna healing potus. I do have weapons now. Okay, we're good. All right. That was those. We're we're doing bad, man doing bad but let's take a look at, at things here so we did close off one location um, but we need to try to we need to close more um, hmm. all right well anyway whose turn is it right now is she sometimes you want to look because characters can do things outside of their turns all right but I think we're just gonna bash the door down and go in here what is this skin saw ritual each character's location summons and encounters a henchman skin saw cultist. Each character's location discards a card from the top of her deck for each undefeated cultist. So, and then banishes cards. This is going away anyway. <coughs> Alright, well, let's, let's go with the fighter first. Um, I think I'm just going to throw a battle axe at him. 97% chance. I'm okay with that. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Um review this <coughs> oh my god I'm, I'm gonna freaking die recording a YouTube video I'll recharge the battle axe <clears throat> and then the cleric's gonna fight next um, I could holy light what's the recharge on that divine eight um, but this guy's a recharge, right? I, I think I might want to do that. Let's review this. That's a 92% chance. Do I recharge him, though? Um, let's go for it like this. It's fine. Alright. So, we defeated the ritual. Um, and the fighter has nothing else he can do. Um, I can recharge this, but I do want to keep that available, so we'll pass the turn. And this guy wants to try to close down this location. Um, I've got... I think I'm okay here. Alright. Although, if it's the stupid siren... She's on the bottom, though, right? Alright. So, unless we get super unlucky, although we've been very unlucky. Alright, we got no chance at acquiring this. I really would like to get this holy candle, though. Actually, non combat intelligence. I have a feeling we're gonna need this. That makes it only a 43% chance. Hold on a second. Oh, that's a wisdom check. Screw it. I, 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 yeah. Um, I'm gonna explore now. Bugbear. Can I just quarter staff him? No. Let's acid arrow him. 95% chance. What do we got over here? We can discard the longbow, but I'm not gonna do that. A 95% chance feels pretty good. We'll defeat the bugbear. We'll recharge the acid arrow. 100% chance. Let's draw from my spellbook first. No, that's the medallion. that and I think we're gonna go ahead and banish this now and please give me a six I'll take it through yes all right all right finally finally good things happen all right that makes up for all the bad things that has happened to us so far I think this is gonna be a pretty long episode though guys all right <clears throat> We may want to consider healing, but... Um, 
Um, let's see, two of my freaking five weapons. Ah, man. I'm really tight. Mm. It would take the place of my uh, explore, and we kind of need to get through this place. Although I did just get some, some turns back. Hmm. Why did that card go away? When did this get discarded? Was that because of the skin salt thing? I don't know. Um, do I forfeit a... I actually think I do. For, I am going to forfeit a turn just to heal the fighter. We basically will heal him completely. And I want him to get his weapons back. And his Palagina. Um, Alright, let's do it. Let's uh, do this. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to heal the fighter. And we get 1d4 plus 2 sets. All his cards. Heals him completely. Alright. See, look at that. Nice. Alright, and then... We don't have any way to go again. But I, I think that was worth doing. Oh, too fervor, too late. All right. Over here. We got the rogue. He closed that down. He goes to the sanatorium, which is bad. <coughs> Holy freaking crap. I'm dying over here. Um, I think uh, the village house. Mm, yeah, village house. Of course, we don't want to banish any of these. We could banish these tools if we, if we really needed to. Uh, let's explore this location. A shadow. Uh, if the check does not have the magic tree, the shadow is undefeated. That's why I like to have the these things. <clears throat> so let's see. If I recharge this, 66% chance plus a backstab of this <clears throat> gives me 89 that's one way of doing it. Or I can reveal the longbow <clears throat> and backstab with the dagger. <coughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> Gives me 81% chance. Um, I think we're going to recharge here. And... All right, I'm going to have to take a cough drop here because I'm freaking just dying while, while I'm playing. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's uh, backstab here. And I kind of want to keep the thieves tools. But maybe the healing poultice. We don't, re we don't really need to. Oh, we'll, we'll recharge this. Gives me 89% chance. I'm pretty okay with that. I think that's it. We can always healing potus later. Isori is nice to see. Let's go ahead and kick down the door over here. Hmm. Well, I can counter him, but I might as well. I might as well just fight him. We'll counter him. Uh, before I examine the top card, the blessings deck, discard pile. Uh, okay, that's that's fine though. So he's a 15. So it was. All right. But I think we're okay with discarding this to get a 94% chance to defeat him. So we'll do that. <clears throat> we'll recharge, recharge the Bastard's Ward. Close location, yes. I really wish I could do it with you, but... Oh no! We have a 0% chance to close this. Oh, wow. How much for that? Crap. Damn it. Well, that sucks. And I have no weapon now. <clears throat> well. We are not having a good time, man. Goblin warrior. Can I just do this? Oh. Gotta do it this way. Although, you know what? No, we got... I, I thought about trying with the quarterstaff and if I fail, recharge one of these. But then that's just going to add more turns. We got to close this off. We got to close this. Recharge this. 
Uh, before we... Okay, good. Got a force missile. Control that. And we'll do that. Stop beeping over there. We're gonna recharge this. Alright. Alright, right, right. Man, we're having a tough time with this adventure here. Alright, I think that's it for this turn. Let me see something. Can I... Is there a way to recharge these guys without... No. All right. Whose turn is it? The cleric's turn. Um. Well, I'm tempted to. Uh, hmm. Kind of need to heal, man. I have a I have a cure in here somewhere though. All right. Let's uh. Let's explore. Doctrine of Nethys. Discard this card to add any. I have eighty percent chance. Uh, we'll just roll it straight up. Alright, this adds to what? This card to add, to add two dice to any arcane or knowledge check. Uh, I think though, I am gonna just use Fervor to go again. Uh, let's try to recharge Fervor. 25% chance. Arcane or knowledge. Doesn't really help me. Although, play a spot of check now. Hmm. Blessing of Gorm is not what I want to do. Um, Alright, it's only a 25% chance to recharge the fervor. Uh, we'll, we'll just go for it, I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to use... Yeah. It's fine. Okay. So, Mr. Mercenary. I can uh, build this. Oh, that's it. Puts it, puts it to that. Um, I'm kind of tempted to recharge the squire just so I can get my cure, but I'm okay not doing that. Let's just do this. Hmm. And I can't recharge any of these, right? All right. I guess we're done with our turn. <clears throat> All right, here. I will just explore first. A fox. Recharge this card to add 1d4 to any intelligence and wisdom check. That's a useful card. I only have a 25% chance, and I'm not willing to spend those blessings for this. So when you encounter it, you may recharge a card to automatically acquire it. I'm kind of okay doing this. Let's do that. We'll recharge... Which one's better? Who we'll recharge a flaming purple? And I get him. Um, discard this card to explore your location. I kind of think I want to keep the magic fox to banish. But if I need to banish something, I'm actually okay banishing the magic leather armor. So. I think we're gonna use this guy to go again. An archer is not bad at all. Um, I don't think I'm gonna recharge. Oh, I could recharge a card, but no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I could banish a thieves tools. Hmm, I'm thinking to close this deck. But if we get this guy, we can basically go again right now. And I kind of want to squeeze out. All right, we'll do it. We'll recharge. We'll recharge the magic leather armor to to acquire you. We're gonna go ahead and do. Do we archer or do we use the sword first? No, we we'll use the archer. And. That way, because after we're done exploring, we'll use the story, and then we know what the next card is, and it basically gives more knowledge. Brooch of Shielding. Recharge this card to reduce all damage dealt to you by one. Bury this card to reduce all damage dealt to you to zero. That's not bad at all. All right, but I have no chance at getting it, so, and I'm not. I'm not gonna spend. I'm not gonna spend cards to get this. So that's fine. It's a nice card, but I'm okay passing it up. And now we will reveal Isur. There's a skeleton horde there. 
Let me see this. Each character that opens summons encounters an ancient skeleton, then banish this card. So that's fine. I can encounter that and then evade the skeleton and then it still gets banished. And no demon comes out to bother me. All right. We have completed our rogue's turn. And our fighter here needs some help. He's got a blessing of Gorum that's going to help out. So I'm okay barging through here. I just remembered something. I forgot that one of the zombie minions went into one of the other locations. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to use this blessing of Gorum. Because I think now's the time to do it. And <laughs> look at that, with my bare fists, I'm okay doing that. 22. Nice. Um, he could be undefeated. No. All right. But because of the scenario, he does go somewhere else. So he goes to the old light. Yeah, I think over at the... Damn it. so terrible all right hold on I'm making a mistake that I've done before I probably okay I need to leave that place alone hold on this place wait wait did he go shit now I'm confused where are they at they're over here I may want to leave this location alone and just go elsewhere all right but we are going to continue at the old light here. A short sword. Nobody cares about that. All right. Skip, 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 skip. Man, I, I'm of the mind of getting rid of one of these amulets. Well, no, because I think we're okay with all the stuff we have, so. He's not having pro... Uh, I need to heal with this character. Um, But I think... I think it's about time to head over to the sanitarium. Um, because if we can, if we can force the villain over here, we can force the villain to that place. Then we don't have to worry about closing it. Um, I mean, does that sound like a good, a good idea? Hmm. Yeah, we need to, uh, or I just, eh. all right, let's go to the sanatorium. Succeed at a wisdom. Let's hope I'm uh, choosing correctly here. A night watch. 60% chance to acquire him. I will just roll it straight up and I failed, which is quite unfortunate. Um, I don't dare spend cards to go again, so... Here, we know what it is, right? It's a skeleton horde. So let's encounter that. Encounter it. Oh, everybody has to encounter one at at an open location. Oh, well, fine. All right, the fighter. Sheeps. All right, I don't think it matters if we... F All right, he punches the skeleton in the face. Um, cleric. She's pretty good at this, so... Reveal. Crush him. The wizard is a problem, though. I could discard to make it 90%. I think I'm okay doing that. Although, what happens if I just do this? It's 58% chance. I'm going to go for it. If I fail, okay, I have these amulets, so. And then her, I think she can just evade. Yeah. And then the skeleton horde is gone. All right, I ke can I go again? We need to close locations. We only have one closed. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, which one of these do I want to keep? I'll, I'll discard that. We have to. We have to do this. Menagerie keeper. This card. This card makes you see that you check to acquire an ally. There's element tree. This card. This card to explore your location. Um, I think I'm gonna recharge to acquire her. 
there's no more these uh, i'm gonna recharge the these tools although shit wait hold on hold on, hold on. i want to keep the thieves tools to banish this but i think i want i, I do want to acquire uh I'll recharge that to acquire her and we're gonna just discard her to explore our location toxic cloud oh that's a spell I thought that was something bad um display this card next to your deck while well, displayed at 1d6 in the poison shake to combat checks against monsters at the end of the turn if you don't have the arcane skill okay um as nice as that is we're gonna just pass on that Then I'm gonna use E Sori to look at this. There's Dr. Haven. We're gonna be able to close the location, I think. No, I wanna keep him on top. Oh, he counts as a monster. Um If there is no Bane in the deck, he's automatically defeated, and then we may attempt to close the location. Okay. Uh we'll leave him on top. And we gotta roll the die to see if we encounter some stupid demon. We don't. All right. That's the turn. Draw cards. Spyglass is nice. All right. I think here we're going to leave this alone. But if I do, then where am I going? I guess to the general store. Wait, I try to close this sheet, these things down. Yeah, let's go to the general store. I think it's time to spread out. I need a freaking weapon. All right, let's explore. Battered wooden shield. 75% chance to get that. I don't get it. I didn't really want it anyway. Uh, let's go to the discard. And I'm gonna recharge this. I'm almost tempted, almost tempted to just get rid of these, but... You know what? I hate we need to do that. That's what we needed to do. And in fact, I'm gonna, while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and just recharge her now. Is there anything else anybody wants to do? Um, I'm okay doing this staff of minor healing. Let's just get it over with. Alright. He's kicking over here. Come on, man. We need to find freaking. This is adds three to wisdom checks. I don't care about that. Uh, we do get to explore now, though. A scout. He's gonna shoot at me. He does zero damage. Alright, we gotta fight him. I will have to force missile him. 94% chance. Eat. Uh, we'll recharge the force missile. Let's do expand the spellbook. Augury. It's not bad. We'll try that. Let's go ahead and do augury. Um, let's go for monsters. We want to find. We want to close this down. The boss is here. The boss is here. Um, do I leave him on top? I might as well. And then, then we know exactly where he's at. And then we can set up for him. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, we'll attempt to recharge all three. Let's, let's do this. All right, we don't we don't draw a card. All right. Oh, I got it. Okay, sagacity. Attempt an arcane. I'm gonna display this because whatever. When does this go away? At the end of my turn, I think, right? Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I did that because I wanna um wanna hopefully draw into another Oh I know I'm I know I'm not gonna draw into a, a web uh spell. Damn it. Maybe I need to optionally discard. Let's try to recharge this simplicity. I should have just discarded it. Oh, can't do that. Well, we'll attempt to recharge anyway. 
I'm gonna succeed. Um, I think I'm gonna discard this amulet of life. We need to draw. That way we'll draw a couple cards. All right, that's it. Not what I wanted to see. Ooh, something's happening here. The squat stone building that serves as the, as the sanatorium has three floors under a stout stone flag roof and is built in the lee of the limestone escarpment known as Ashen Rise. A brisk sense of cleanliness fills the place. The floors are scrubbed and walls are freshly painted white. The somewhat sour smell of burning incense abounds, a scent that Hobby has found soothes most deviant minds. There is an eerie quiet as it becomes clear that all of the sanatorium's patients are gone. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, I have to attempt a wisdom check. All right, it's not optional, so I have to do that. I have a 70% chance. If I fail, I lose a card. I can always heal. But if I... I don't want to spend... I don't want to spend cards for this. Fail. So I lose a card from my deck. I kind of have to heal now. Well. Let's heal. I'll use the holy light. Come on, roll high. Five is good. Kind of needed to do that. Um... Do I dare? Yeah. We're at a point. I think we gotta do this. Spell component pouch. Reveal this card to add two to your check to recharge the spell that has the arcane trait. That's not bad at all. But I cannot... Well, I can get it, but I don't... Oh, uh, this would be really nice for the wizard. But, alright. Heart of the cards. Failure. Ooh, I got it. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Although, I think I'm going to discard this at the end of my turn. Uh, because we need we need to draw more stuff. So, let's go to the discard. We'll, we don't need that. Alright. Um, let's Spyglass. Oh, right. We know that Dr. Hobby is there. Crap. I forgot about that. I should have clicked the examine button again. All right. Um, I have to banish a card. All right. I'll banish these two's. Encounter him. There's no more Banes. So he's automatically defeated, right? What's happening? Close the location. Yes. Uh, I gotta let go of the thieves tools. That's gonna suck, but we can we can get another one easily. So, all right, this is closed down. And what was that? I get to examine something. Um, I really want to close this place down. So th those are. Wait, what? This, those are the top three cards. Can I do anything with these? There's a mirror image, mercenary, and consecration. Bury a number of blessings from your hand and your discard pile. Shuffle an equal number of random blessings from the blessings discard pile into the blessings deck. Banish this card. Oh, wow. This is this is spell to basically add more time to the clock. Huh. That's interesting. So, hold on a second. What was that? What was that ability? Anyway, we're going to end our turn here. You guys can go in the comments and let me know what it was that, that was there. All right. Now, here, I actually think... Um, no, he's not good at wisdom checks, right? He's terrible at them. So, he doesn't want to go to the sanatorium. Is this still open? The desecrated vault. That's a wisdom with... Oh, son of a bitch. We got to try to close that somehow. All right, so we need to close the sanatorium here. The rogue. Damn it. 
All right, well, if I go wisdom six check, I'm gonna fit. Yeah, the ugh, this is bad, man. May we stay where we are? What's this to close? Succeed a wisdom divine six. She, her wisdom is actually not horrendous. We gotta figure this out. We gotta close these locations and beat the boss. Oh, what to do here? What to do here? I think I stay put and just keep digging here. Grace Sevilla is immune to the mental trait. Uh, all right, we will fight him. I'll have to banish a card. He said, he said, he said you would visit me, his lordship, the one that had made me said so. He has a place for you, a precious place. I am so jealous. What? All right, well, I'm going to throw a battle axe at you. That makes it 97% chance. I'm not going to add anything else to that. Although we really want to make sure we close this. But 97% chance is pretty good. So, boom. Uh, we will recharge this, and we gotta banish a card. Close location, yes, I will banish the Thieves Tools. Okay, guys, remind me at the end of the venture, we gotta get another Thieves Tools. Alright, uh, and we get an item. Come on, give me a Thieves Tools. That'd be awesome. The hell is that? Orb of Shocking. I can explore now, for some reason. What's this? Orb of Shocking. Uh, 1D4, uh, on a character, uh, 1D4 and the electricity shade and divine. That's kind of nice. Um, this is also pretty decent, too. Discard this card to examine the top two cards of your location deck and put them back in any order. It's actually pretty nice. Um, hmm. I still got my coughs going on. <clears throat> I'm not gonna discard that for that. We'll just roll this straight out. That's fine if we don't get it. It's kind of a neat card. Um, it, it's better than the uh, spyglass. I don't know if I really want to keep this orb of shocking in my hand. Although, I will. Might be useful in the final boss battle. Um, I think here we're gonna examine. And not do anything stupid. Alright. So, I'm leaving here. I'm gonna go somewhere. <coughs> you know what? <clears throat> I have some auguries in my deck, don't I? If I can draw them, I can help... Um, hmm... Let's help, uh, I think I'm gonna, I want to help the, this guy. This is gonna be so bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt this. Examine. Oh, there's some good spells here. 91% chance to get that. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. <coughs> uh, let's go ahead and explore now. Mercenary. Do we discard this for, for him? Oh my god, 8%. If I discard this, it's 50. If I fail, I can always mirror image. I don't I really don't want to lose though. I don't want to lose time. Uh, orb of shocking. Come on. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I'm okay. You know what? Let's back up here. All right, he's gonna discard. No, but we we wanna beat this. I thought about it. I don't mind taking the damage, but we we really do wanna defeat this. So let's just. Why am I not drawing freaking weapons? 77% chance. Alright, we'll, we'll go with this.
Um, I'm gonna detect magic because I'm pretty positive the next spell, next card is a spell. Oh, we already knew that. If we would have just clicked examine. Alright, well, we'll encounter that. Try to get through this. Uh, recharge detect magic. 100% chance. Uh, let's draw a card here though. Augury. That's what I wanted. Let me draw that. Alright, 100% chance to recharge detect magic. And go for the consec consecration. Um, I don't care. I don't care. Even if we acquire that card, I probably wouldn't use it in my. Uh, Alright, we're gonna augury here. Yeah. We're looking for a monster. We wanna try to close this place down. Zombie minion. Alright, um, leave it like that. Um, recharge the augury. Let's draw a card here. Flare burst. That's cute. We we'll draw that. Another card. Another card. I, I actually, I really need to recharge this. Uh, but it's 83% chance, so good. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what's what's this here? Zombie minion. We'll leave the we'll leave that for the cleric. So, bam. Turn. What was that? At start of turn. Attempt this. What was that? Was that the the orb? Cracking? Did I just crack? Destroy the orb? <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, seventy percent chance. Nice. So I get a card back. Right? Yes. I don't know what I got back, but I have a cure. Um, I'm gonna hold on to that though. Let's explore. We know we know it's the zombie, right? So let's let's just kick down the door and close this place. Um, reveal this. Ninety-eight percent chance. I'm okay doing that. Crush. He does run off somewhere. Where did he go? Okay, that place. Close location. Yes. Sixty percent chance. We're not screwing around here. Flavor of fate. Flavor. Favor of Torag. Uh, non-combat strength. Uh, I'm okay spending that. 94% chance. Got it. On uh, closing mission for 1d4, minus 1 random cards from your discard pile into your deck. Oh, that's good. Let's do that. Oh. Meh. There's a, there's a, I wish the wizard would get a chance for that too. Um, do we cure here? Um, I can't look at my wizard. Damn it. It's trying to force me to do that. I, I think I can cure here, but his question is, do I cure myself or cure the wizard? And it's not letting me cure anyway. Okay. It's counting it as the end of the turn. What's happening? Oh, I think we got a glitch. I think we have a glitch. All right, so past the turn. I don't know. It's glitching out for me for a second there. Um, I still can do the cure. Um, <clears throat> if I do it over here, it gets me some good needed stuff back. If I do it on myself, also some good needed stuff. So. I guess I will heal. I'm gonna cure the wizard since the cleric can heal himself herself anytime. Why is that? Recharge. Why was he gonna put? Oh, because it was a spell. Alright. Um I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna reveal this to get more. More chance to recharge my cure. Alright. And now who's turned it is okay over here so this place is closed what do we got left we only got 10 turns we know the boss is here um these are closed hmm <laughs> 
she's kind of ready to she could take on the the bad guy the fighter is not he's got no freaking weapon how does the fighter not have a weapon can somebody answer that for me how does the fighter not have a weapon all right I could station hmm <clears throat> I could station the uh, rogue over there, but then I'm not doing anything else with the rogue's turn. We need we need to we need to make it so that the next rogue's turn, she can fight the boss and defeat him, which means we all need a bunch of blessings. That's really all we need to have. We also got to make sure, yeah, blessings and blessings. All right. Let's game the system here. We're going to go here with the rogue. All right. I guess the rogue's the one that's going to be doing it. Um, we will examine. We know he's there. Let's set this up right. Um, let's go to the discard phase. And let's discard this bird cruncher crown. And he's sorry. I'll keep these weapons. And the blessing. Boom. Um, just in case, hold on a second, hold on a second, let me look at this location, examine, what does he do again, um, oh frick, I gotta fight a henchman zombie mini, that's not too bad though, alright, so he doesn't do anything like, he doesn't blast me and knock cards out of my hand, okay, what are we up to, this place is closed, is it not? The fighter can go over there to try to help out, but I don't know that that's super helpful. I can just go over here and just try... Isn't there a... Hmm. I don't know if the... Yeah, because I think the rogue is just better off being over there by herself. So, with the fighter, we'll go over here. And we might as well explore. Goblin Commando, I will reveal or recharge. Recharge this, that's fine. 70% uh, chance to do this here. Oh, we will, we will reveal this. Up to 80. I will keep that Flame Burst, though. And we'll just roll it straight up. Bam. Alright. Closer to finishing that, we've got nothing else we can do, so um, I think here we're going to go ahead and go to the discard, and we're going to discard this and recharge this. We want blessings. We drew one. Start of turn actions, we have to do this. 37% chance. I'm not spending stuff. So, we either make it... Oh, nice! But we, get, we don't get to recharge anything. All right. Um, we're done here. So, uh, of course, the wizard's going to go ahead and go over here. <clears throat> and my throat is freaking bothering me again. What the hell? What did I just do? <coughs> now, the wizard doesn't have blessings in his deck. Right? So, what would I be... If I discard cards, what am I hoping for? Not much. Sagakit City? Nope. None of these. So, I might as well... Um... Hmm. I don't know if I want to explore here. But it might make sense. What do we have? One monster, two monsters, and three good things. So there's higher. Ch All right, fuck it. Paralyze. Discard this card to evade a non-villain monster. Put it on top and bottom. So we have to play this card if you do not have either Dark King or the Vice Banisher. That's actually an interesting spell. All right, we'll roll it straight up and try to get it. Five. Um, screw it. Explore now. Blessing of Torag. 
would be nice to have. But I fail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'd have to discard a card. Let's uh, discard this guy. All right. Well, <laughs> non-villain monster. Can I not play this? I guess because the thing is forcing me. This forced me to encounter it. This card takes your location during this way. If you encounter a boon or novel non henchman bane, banish it. Why is it making me encounter him? Um. All right. Well, we're gonna just roll this and fail, and I'm okay with that happening. Let's discard this. Why am I? Okay, I'm done taking damage. Let's attempt to recharge the medallion. 75% chance is better than nothing. And we get it. Alright. That was really not super useful. Um, I think I'm going to go discard cards. Sagakri might might be useful. Oh, we have to do this, really? All right, well, hey, take a free heal. Take a free heal. Okay, we got to move, though, now. We're also going to go over here. All right, um... I guess there's no sense not... A faceless stalker? Before you act, succeed a wisdom 7 check or he's harder to defeat. Okay, we'll attempt that and fail. So he becomes a 14, I guess. That's fine. We will, we will reveal. Hold on, let me see this. Does this only work for me to your melee combat check? So we'll go ahead and do this. We'll recharge this. Make it 98% chance. We defeat him. And then I'm going to go to the discard phase, and I'm going to get rid of th this. We've got two blessings here, which means we've got a bunch more over there. So, I'm going to discard this. Discard this. I could be really screwing things up. And I'm going to discard that. And that's it. We want to draw nothing but blessings. All right. I think we are stocked now. Crazy stocked. All right. Healing poultice. <laughs> just get, just to get cards out of our hand. Okay. Let's look at them again. Um, after you attempt to check, when you attempt to check to defeat Karazu, after you roll dice, start to check or cards played in the preview all right so it may be one or two two uh tries but we should be good to go all right continue all right your lordship apart from the strange innuendo in your love notes the murdering needs to stop Eh, you do-gooders sure know how to ruin a good thing. Having a few loose zombies does not make me a murderer. If you insist on fighting me, I can also use fodder for my experiments in undeath. Alright, I forgot that we have to fight the, uh, the, the thing. Alright, um, we gotta close this location here. Temporary close, yes. I, what the fuck? I want her to do it. I want her to be the one. I should have said no. That's the problem. God damn it. Alright, well. Blessing of Shailing. That's... Son of a bitch. I'm fucking this up. Let's play the Sagacity. 100% chance. 
finally. All right, finish closing. Okay, I realize now what I was doing wrong. That's really stupid, guys. Obsidian, change that. It should have. It should let me when it's time to close the location. There's multiple players. Let us just select the portrait. Not have to go one by one saying no, 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 no. All right, we're gonna encounter this guy. We have to fight a zombie minion. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and discard this. 97% chance. I I think we don't wanna we don't wanna screw around, so we're just gonna go like that, make it 99. All right, done. Now you. Um. Let's recharge the daggers. Throw the dagger at him. Uh, spend this blessing. 99% chance. I'm okay with that. Bam. And on a one or two, he is undefeated. A four. All right, you stay dead. All right. Yeah, I surrender. I am no dark crusader. I only wished to carry on with my work in peace. But one of Dr. Harbe's patients got loose and set my zombies on the town. I know nothing of any murders. What did you and Dr. Habe do to Graced? Even if you did not commit the murders, the gods are unlikely to forgive the corruption you inflicted upon that man. That man was halfway to undeath when he arrived at the sanatorium. He kept ranting about his lordship too. If Habe left him to me, I could have saved everyone a lot of trouble. All right, so finally we achieve victory, even though it didn't look like we were gonna do it. All right, continue. What do we get? What do we get? We get stuff. Um, all right, I get a card power. Um, well, let's see. I could go with a bigger hand size. I don't want to do that. It's just really not good going a bigger hand size. It makes you more vulnerable. Um. We can't get hide any better, so we could go with a improved sneak attack, which is 1d6 plus 1. That just will make us much better at fights, which I think is really good. So we'll go with that. Um, next, the fighter. I think we want him to get, well, either a bigger hand size, which I'm not crazy about with him, or make his teamwork better. But we don't use the teamwork that often, so I think going to 5 cards with him is not terrible. Yeah, we'll go with that. All right, Wizard. I really don't want to go to bigger hand sizes. Recovery. Add two to your check to recharge a card. Yeah, I want that. Yeah, I want that. I want that. All right, Cleric. Bigger hand size is not that great. Oh, I think we wanted. I could go with enemy lore, just be even better. But we're already really good against undead. I will go with the weapon proficiency. We needed that. All right, cool. Boom. Uh, confirm these choices and then now we got to reset our deck so starting off with the rogue uh, I don't want any of these so no spells armor I'm good I need a thieves tools I don't have a thieves tools we do have a sage journal well let's leave this out for now we've got too many people over here um, we, we still want it sorry so we're gonna just leave it like that blessings are fine all right, fighter. He's good with his weapons, I think. Uh, no spells, armors, okay. We need a new item. We'll come back to that. What was this menagerie keeper? Not really necessary. Eater. Eh. All right, I'm okay with this. All right, one weapon. Spells. We don't need sagacity. I almost think I want non-villain monster. This or or hmm. Well, display your if your dealt damage you won't do other than one. I think I like paralyze. We'll get rid of mirror image. And I think we're gonna get rid of flare burst. Flare burst is, has not been that useful for me. I thought it was gonna be good, but it's not. Paralyzed will let me if if we find like the villain or something. Well, let's see, non-villain. 
I think it's just useful. It'll, it'll help me get out of trouble, I think. And I, I think it puts it on top of the deck, right? Or bottom. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. We'll keep that. Um, items, I'm good there. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Weapons. Well, now she has the weapon proficiency, so we can go crazy. Well, we're gonna get rid of this animal, animal bane, dog, dog size. I think I like this. And I think we're gonna go with a great club. This thing is nice because ones count as threes. We'll try that out, plus the great club. Great club is just, just nice. All right, spells. Um, so far, these have been pretty good. Sagacity is kind of nice. Sagacity will help with fervor. But what I what would I get rid of? I do have improved guidance, which is just as good. Yeah, why would I go for sagacity? All right, I, I'm good there uh, with spells. Uh, shield is fine. Oh, spell component pouch. That's for the wizard. Um, I think I like her having the squire, and we have one too many blessings here. Arcana knowledge check. Um, I, I think we're okay letting that one go. Um, you over here, items. We wanted to give you the spell component pass. I think we'll get rid of this amulet of life. Having both of these was not helpful at all. And being able to make sure I recharge my spells is pretty good. Alright, the fighter... The fighter needs a thief's tools, right? So I, th oh crap! All right, well I'm gonna give the sage's journal to the rogue, and he has to take the amulet of life, which he doesn't need. Oh, that sucks. I don't have no other items in the stash. All right, well, oh god, is there any items? He's got a thief's tools. But then he'd end up with the Amulet of Life again. Uh, what do we do here? Because the fight already has crazy armor. He doesn't need the Amulet. Alright, here we're gonna... We're gonna go like this. And give that to him and then like that. And then we're good. Items over here are good. It's as good as it's gonna get, I guess. All right. Boop. We have to banish cards. Um, I got a bunch of short bows plus one. All right, mirror image will let go. Sagacity, flare burst. Archer is okay, even though he's kind of hard to find, but uh, I'm not gonna use it. I, I like Isori. Um, I'm okay getting rid of the scimitar. Probably both of these weapons. Actually, these short bows, we don't need them. May keep one. There we go. 12 gold. All right, so that's it, guys. We've completed this. And in the next episode, we will go after the next one, Crow Bait. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.